In this lesson, you'll learn how to use envelope distort function in Illustrator. It can be used to warp text as well, just like this, or warp it to custom shapes, as I'll show you. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to press Control or Command A, select it all, move it over to the side. Go ahead and go to File New, Create a New Document. I like to teach the warp tool using text. So go ahead and choose the type tool, click and let go, and just type in some text. And I'm going to just click and drag the corner here, holding shift for maintaining proportion. And I want to change the color of this. So I'll change something like that. We got some text typed in. And what we need to do, we need to warp it. If you look up here, control panel, there's make envelope. And there's a little down arrow. So just click the make envelope and it comes up with warp options. And the one I was using is bulge. It kind of looks like a skateboard that we'd ride on. Um, there's arc, there's arc lower, arc upper, there's uh, shell lower, flag, wave, bunch of different ones and they're all customizable. So if you select one and then press left and right, Move that to the right. You can distort the perspective of it. If you just want it to reset to the default, you can go to zero. And then just do bend, whatever you want to do. So for my example, I was using bulge one. That one's way too much, though. you got to bring that back down. And then you can go to vertical as well. All right, mine wasn't using that. But just check out all those different effects. And so once we have, once it looks like how we want it to look like, and make sure, if it's not changing, just make sure preview here is checked. All right, so click OK. We've got our effect. And for my example that you saw earlier, this is this involves the Pathfinder panel, which I cover in a different lesson, but I'll show you how to use it in this context. So I'm going to just choose some kind of color here for the wheels. And what we do, I'm just going to click and drag down with rounded rectangle. And then I'm going to... Oh, yeah, man. Choose a better color here. And then I'm going to Alt click and drag, or Option click and drag on the Mac. Hold Shift if you want to keep it level here. And then what we need to do is draw a shape on top of it that we'll subtract from. So something like that, something like that, maybe a little bit lower, but we can fix it. And then something like this, that's a little bit off. I'm going to reset the angle here. And then something like that. So I need to copy this entire shape here. So the black arrow selected, click it, edit copy. And then we need to select this top shape as well as these back tires. And then right here on the Pathfinder panel, just go to Window, then Pathfinder, then minus front. All right. Now we need to bring back that shape. So just go to Edit, Paste, and Place. So it's in the same exact spot. And then hold Shift, click this one as well. So we got both of these selected. Minus front again. You know it's a little bit off there. We can use the white arrow and just slightly modify it. Click and drag it down a little bit. If we need to zoom in, we can do that. Something like that. And then I'll zoom out again. And that one looks fine down there. So there we go. That's the warp tool. It can be pretty useful. Uh, there's another way to create warp text though that's more customizable. So let's go ahead and click in some more text. So I'm going to show two examples. Uh, I'm going to change the color of this. All right, and then I'm going to alt click and drag. And the one over here, I'll just keep it the same text. And so instead of using a warp, by clicking in Make Envelope up here, or going to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Warp. That would just warp it just like we were doing with the Skate example. All right, so we could do Wave for this, and that would be pretty neat. But let's just create a custom shape first and, and distort it to that. So I'm going to use the Pen tool. I'm going to click, click and drag. I'm going to reset the angles. So click on that. Click and drag out here. Click over there again and just reset the angle. So I'm just creating something custom. All right, I'm going to make it a little bit larger. All right, so what we want to do is click and drag around both of these. 
and then go to object envelope distort and then instead of make with warp is what we did earlier we want to go to make with top object what that does is it takes the bottom object and then distorts it to the shape of the top object so you could take even a paragraph of text and distort it to kind of a wave or a flag pattern or some kind of page or a page that has curves um, that's kind of crumpled or curved so let's just try another one just to give you another example here uh, so we have the pen tool here let's just try the ellipse tool so I'm gonna click and drag that out like that and it doesn't matter the color really uh, I'm gonna customize this first though so I'm gonna use the pen tool click some extra ones in here like so and then I'm gonna use pull this in a little bit I'm just customizing it with the white direct selection tool all right just a custom shape then I'm gonna click and drag around both of these so they're both selected and then go to object envelope distort make with top object all right so there you go so you can create new designs with text using envelope distort whether we're using a pre-made warp even if we customize it or we can create a shape put it on top and then we can use envelope distort with a top shape and some designers use this to add text on a poster or a t-shirt it just stylizes the text as long as it's still readable so I'll see you in the next lesson